Good evening. Good evening, everybody in the sweet world of YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to a pint by the pond. Um, this is something a bit new for us. So, um, uh, yeah, we're intending to tell some of the uh, stories and uh, tales that are often uh, recounted when we are out and about drinking, singing, gigging, doing what we do. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we want to kind of see if we can do something along those lines that we can share with everybody tonight. So um, we've got a few stories for you. We've got a few songs that are linked to those stories. Um, there's chat on the go on the side. You can stick something up in the YouTube chat and uh, make some requests or uh, some uh, very friendly and complimentary comments, whichever you <laughs> choose. Um, um, but yeah, we're going to hang out here this evening. We're going to have a few drinks and we're going to try and kind of uh, make this as close to a night where we would hang out as possible, really. Um, so I'm going to mess around slightly with the size of this screen. Um, and uh, the first kind of uh, thing that I think we'd like to talk about is um, the, t the tale of the infamous... Sussex shit man. So uh, we're straight in with the fruity language, slightly before watershed, much to Johnny's chagrin. Um, but we were. <laughs> Not on my behalf, it's my kids' thing. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. They, they probably heard worse. Okay. They'll do them no harm. Okay. <laughs> um, so for those of you that don't know who we are, and I'm hoping that most of you do, um, I'm Steve, um, and uh, just to my, is that my left or right? I don't know how it looks on your screen, but there's Chris there, and then there's Graham over in the corner, Dave uh, uh, above me here, and Johnny just here. And um, yeah, we're the Duck Pond Sailors. Thanks for joining us. Chris, I'm going to hand over to you to tell this fabulous story of a, of a beautiful night in the Swan pub in Worthing. Right, yeah, and the great thing about this is people think folklore, folk song, that's got to be at least 500 years old. But this is a legend that's about 10 years old. Uh, that gives it a certain vibrancy. And um, this was, yeah, in the Swan in Worthing, now the New Amsterdam, about 10 years ago, maybe 12. Um, uh, my wife, Anne, was um, doing homestay, teaching uh, business people who were coming over who wanted to learn English. And we had a German staying with us who was very high up in Siemens. And he was serious about learning English and he was serious about understanding English culture. Uh, and so one night we took him to the Swan and it was quite quiet in there. And there was Terry, famous Terry, who, who was managing. <laughs> famous years. Neil Diamond impersonator. <laughs> he had Absolutely. many sterling qualities now at the, uh, at the John Selden. And, and he was there at the bar uh, doing his usual, knowing everyone's name as they came in. And that impressed uh, the man from Siemens. And we're just sitting around happily chatting. And then suddenly this pungency passed us. And first of all, you think, oh, is that the seaweed? Is that the sewers? And then it turned into a reaching sensation. And we looked up and this guy was running out of the pub, uh, just covering up his basic nether regions um, with the foulest smell that God had ever <laughs> induced on planet Earth. And poor Terry had to go into the toilets from where this man had come and clear up what was an absolutely spectacular, horrendous, disgraceful explosion <laughs> of one human being. <laughs> Did you, Chris? Did you? Did did you? Uh, well, I recall when you were telling me about this before. Did he have his trousers over his shoulder? It, yeah, yeah. It's it's an image, you know, seared in my <laughs> memory forever. But the German chap just looked astounded, and and my friend Patrick, with a completely straight face, said, "Oh, that's the Sussex shit man." He, <laughs> he goes, "He goes, I, I, I'm sorry, shit man. Oh yeah, it's good luck." He get, but he visits a different pub every year, and whichever pub he visits, he shits all over, and then he leaves, and everyone who's in the pub that night will have good luck. And he just stood, sat there going, oh, I see, this is very extreme. <laughs> and then we just sort of broke down in laughter, and still, of course, you know, we realised what Terry had had to uh, deal with. 
So this this story that is as ancient as ten or twelve years old, and people people who don't really know each other around this part of Worthing, uh, they can relate to each other by the fact that they were in the pub on that night. You see, it's, a, it's, a, it's like being at D Day or something. You know, it's, it's, it's a seminal. And so Johnny, having heard this this true story, has fashioned it into a song, which he's now going to yeah play with. All with. Yeah, I felt like it was already such a legend, it, it, it could be immortalised. And so, um, yeah, with apologies to anyone who likes Black Velvet Band. It <laughs> <laughs> okay. on an evening like this one, in a tavern they call it the Swan. The air was warm and the sun was low, then sent to the man of my song. He raced like a hound through the doorway, a clenching onto his backside. He crossed the floor to the privy door, and he locked himself firmly inside. Thence came an almighty explosion, and there in the doorway did stand. A shape more forlorn than you've ever sawn, and they called him the Sussex shit man. You could smell him long after you'd seen him, his trousers hung in his right hand. Below his tackle swung loose and free, and they called him the Sussex shit man. Then over the, oh, hang on. The privy, it stank to high heaven, <laughs> as in the fifth circle of hell. The shit man's formidable night soil caked the floor walls and ceiling as well. You could smell him long after you'd seen him, his trousers hung in his right hand. Below his tackle swung loose and free, and they called him the Sussex shit man. Then over the road he wandered to order a pizza and fries. But he couldn't get served with his chap hanging out and an arse that was humming with flies. You could smell him long after you'd seen him, his trousers hung in his right hand. Below his tackle swung loose and free, and they called him the Sussex shit man. And still on an evening like this one, in a tavern they call it the Swan. When the air is warm and the sun is low, you may just perceive a slow calm. Are the farmers preparing their fields? Are the dust carts dispensing their loads? Or is it the shit man of stars still offending the swan patron's nose? You could smell him long after you'd seen him, his trousers hung in his right hand. Below his tackle swung loose and free, and they called him the Sussex Shit Man. Good night, children. It's always good to have nice enunciation for the word shit. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my children. So that's a, just a little lullaby for them there. Yes, a little glimpse into your bedtime routines there, Johnny. <laughs> a nice so, lullaby. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the Swan is now the new Amsterdam, and uh, we go and sing there as well. They welcome us in to come and have a couple of beers. So, yeah, that's a great pub. Go visit that if you can. Um, um, and we've got kind of a few things down here on the schedule that we can work through this evening. Um, the next on my list is... Uh, is ale, ale, glorious ale, Chris. But then you know you had other stuff that you wanted to to talk about. At, at one point, I think you referred to some potential references, historical references to the drunkenness of the English nation. Um, you are our historian, the Christorian, as we have now labelled you. Um, Christorian. Christorian. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, deliver a few. A few, a few history, thoughts, local. and then a, and then a song. Yeah, well, um, there was a, a phrase in um, continental Europe in the seventeenth century as "drunk as an Englishman," and that meant very, very drunk and very, <laughs> very fighting drunk. Um, so um, it goes back way, way back. And Gildas, the um, the Romano-British priest, 
uh, said the main reason that the Romano British tribes were defeated by the Saxons was because they were pissed. <laughs> and if they hadn't have been so drunk, they wouldn't have lost. And then in the Middle Ages, you had drunken riots. Uh, you had the boy bishops that were appointed. A lot of uh, cities uh, at some point in the year would appoint a boy bishop, which is basically an adolescent boy. And he, re he would actually have the powers of a bishop for a week. And that usually involved him and his mates getting totally pissed and rampaging through the town, smashing windows, stealing. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it sounds like every bishop I've ever met. <laughs> what are <Yeah. I> you? <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, a lot of uh, tradition of, of drinking uh, in England, and I've got a few. Uh, I could, yeah, let me read. Uh, I thought this this is rather good. This is a letter written by Sir Matthew Hales, who was Lord Chief Justice under Charles II, to his grandson, saying that his grandson could only inherit his fortune if he refused to drink any healths. Uh, and he said, I will not have you to begin or pledge any health, for it has become one of the great artifices of drinking and occasions of quarrelling in the kingdom. If you pledge one health, you oblige yourself to pledge another and a third and so onwards. And if you pledge as many as will be drunk, you must be debauched and drunk. If they will needs know the reason of your refusal, it is a fair answer that your grandfather that brought you up, from whom under God you have the estate you enjoy or expect, left this command with you that you should never begin or pledge a health. <laughs> Which no one took any notice of. Well, he might have done until he got his uh, inheritance, I suppose. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is a, this is a, a, a ale, ale um, glorious ale. And it's sort of topical for the time of year, almost. <clears throat> when I was a young lad, me father did say, the summer is coming, it's time to make hay. But when hay's been carting, don't you ever fail. But a drink gaffer's health in a pint of good ale. Ale, ale, glorious ale. Served up in pewter, it tells its own tale. Some folk like radishes, some curly kale. But give I boiled parsnip and a great dish of taters and a lump of fatty bacon and a pint of good ale. Our MP in Parliament, our faith for to keep. I hope now we put him there, he won't sit and sleep. But he'll always get my vote if he never fails. But I keep down the price of our true English ale. Ale, ale, glorious ale. Served up in pewter, it tells its own tale. Some folk like radishes, some curl like kale. But give I boiled parsnip and a great dish of taters and a lump of fatty bacon. And a pint of good ale. Now take all teetotalers, they drink water neat. It must rot their gutses and give them damp feet. But I always say that a man can't go stale on broad beans and bacon and a pint of good ale. Ale, ale, glorious ale. Served up in pewter, it tells its own tale. Some folk like radishes, some curl like kale. But give I boil parsnip and a great dish of taters and a lump of fatty bacon and a pint of good ale. Yeah. Bravo. Mate. I love, love that. I love that song. That line, the lump of fatty bacon. Yeah, that's oh, right. and a yeah. of ale. So perfect. <laughs> when you're very pissed and very drunk, that's what you want. A lump. <laughs> <laughs> I could do without the boiled parsnips, maybe, but definitely the lump of fatty bacon. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this sounds like um, an opportunity to plug the T-shirt that you're wearing, Johnny. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, because I noticed that um, that somebody already commented that 
Chris has been has been awarded shirt of the night already. Uh, yes. Pride. Yeah, that was my that that was um that was Lee. Do you remember Lee? He came to the South Downs Folk Festival with us. He was my yeah. friend from Sweet Romford. Yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's him. He's commented on your shirt tonight, Chris. It oh, is he's, a he's a fan. Yeah. Good tutorial choice. But it's not quite the uh, the, the new government message here. Yeah. Organic cotton weave of this t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, because almost as soon as the Stainer slogan had come out, and I think whatever your political views, you may be sort of have a few, few questions about that particular slogan. Um, Graham had got to his computer and created this fantastic new <laughs> slogan, which I think we can all get behind. And, and I said, that needs to go on a teacher. And within about five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> And I ordered it, and here we are. <laughs> the finest t-shirt of the time. But you can buy one if you want one. Yeah, you can get one. That it, it comes in black. Um, all proceeds are going to Ollie's Futures. So it's a well worth cause. That's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, very worthwhile cause. So um, that's the high-quality t-shirt plugged. Um, yeah. Um, we haven't so, done any shanties yet, have we? <laughs> we haven't done any shanties yet. <laughs> well, this is drinking, drinking and drink songs, right? Drinking yeah. tales, yeah. drinking songs. Yeah. And also, we are duck on sailors. We're allowed to do land based things as well, right? Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, so, well, I've got you down here, Dave. All right. Yeah. Um, to do a little turn. Uh, with with a tale um, entitled "How I Met Steve." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, certainly the you four guys have heard this, and probably some people who are watching uh, might have heard this story before. But it's it's one that I always enjoy retelling. Um, so, I, uh, many years ago now, I used to play guitar in a band called Free Beer and Naked Women. Um, and we were playing at a fine hostelry in Littlehampton uh, called The Crown, which yeah. is always, uh, renowned for its extra clean floor. Um, <laughs> it doesn't cause you to stick to it at all. And um, so we were, we were playing, and I, I even know which guitar I was playing. I was playing this guitar here uh, when, this, when this particular incident happened. So we were playing a, a, a song by Rage Against the Machine called Killing in the Name. And uh, Steve, uh, unusually for him, happened to be at the pub that night. Um, he's not a frequenter of pubs, uh, but he was happened to be there uh, that night and uh, joined in with the small mosh pit. That what, are the chances, Dave? what are the chances? Um, and uh, halfway through the song, he's jumping up and down, jumping up and down, and suddenly he disappears. And we're sort of carrying on playing because we can't stop. And we're looking around to see where is this bloke with the big beard gone? And he's on the floor. And it turns out he's dislocated his knee. Um, uh, so screaming agony. Uh, paramedic comes, by which time he's already popped his knee back in and all the rest of it. So that was the first night that I met Steve. Um, other than... Other than that, I'd never spoken to him before, nothing, and, and I didn't speak to him that night either because we were sort of too embarrassed for causing the injury that we had. Uh, the second time that I met Steve was uh, on the way back, on the, no, sorry, the way to collect something in our old motorhome. Uh, uh, it was like 25 years old sort of a thing. And uh, we were going into town and rounding a corner and suddenly crunk the clutch cable snap. Uh, pull the thing over to the side of the road, the widest bit of road, and the van was on the right, so um, we did our best, uh, but tucked it over to the side, and uh, I called the AA, and we're just waiting, and after a little while, there's a knock on the window, and there's this bloke with an enormous beard, can you tell who it is yet, uh, an enormous beard, uh, and he said, like, are you all right, do you want, a, do you want, a, do you want a cup of tea, or anything like that? Obviously, we're in our old uh, van, so we've got everything we need. So, well, thanks very much. But uh, anyway, but no, we're, we're all good. So that was the second time I had met Steve. And we'd actually talked that time. 
but not introduced ourselves properly. The third time I met Steve was at another fine hostelry. Again, it's very unusual that Steve would be in a pub. Um, we were playing at the Dolphin in Littlehampton, and uh, Steve got chatting to my uh, now wife, Emma, uh, and uh, she recounted these tales to him. She was like, oh, okay. I put two and two together, and I uh, mentioned to her that he does this thing, singing shanties, and might I be interested in singing some shanties as well? So on that, on the third occasion, we finally got to have a chat and a, a couple of, well, probably about a month after that, I got a, a message from Steve to say, right, uh, we've got a gig coming up uh, in Brighton at the Spiegel tent and uh, we need an extra man. Are you free? Are you willing? Are you able? And the answer to all those things was yes. Uh, and here we are. Uh, however many years later it is. Is it three, four? Seven? It's, got, it's got to be three, three, yeah. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Three years. So, um, yeah. And, and, I, and I, be, before you before you started to um, deliver that tale, Dave, I, I forgot to warn you that there may be people that I work with um, watching the stream tonight. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that nothing too, um, yeah, uh, worrying is delivered. Yeah, so all three times before the public. There's nothing bad to say because you're a clean living lifestyle. Yeah, of course, mate. Of course. <laughs> I, yeah, I, but I, I thought I, as a song I, tonight, I share a song that, that I, I love. I, uh, it's a song, I'm not going to sing all of it because I, I, those are the rules. It's, it's the seven drunken nights, but I'm only going to sing about five of them. Uh, Guy, just before you do that, Dave, can I get everyone to mute their microphones? Because I'm getting a little bit of a loop around, if that's all right. Brilliant, okay. thank you. All right. Oh, as I went home on a Monday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a horse outside the door where my old horse should be. Well, I called my wife and I said to her, will you kindly tell to me? Who owns that horse outside the door where my old horse should be? Ah, you drunk, you drunk, you silly old fool, and still you cannot see. That's a lovely sow that me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I've travelled a hundred mile or more, but a sow with a saddle on, sure I never saw before. And as I went home on a Tuesday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a coat behind the door where my old coat should be. And I called my wife and I said to her, will you kindly tell to me who owns that coat behind the door where my old coat should be? Ah, you drunk, you drunk, you silly old fool, and still you cannot see. That's a wool and blanket that me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I've travelled a hundred mile or more, but buttons on a blanket sure I never saw before. As I went home on a Wednesday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a pipe upon the chair where my old pipe should be. But I called me wife and I said to her, would you kindly tell to me who owns that pipe upon the chair? Where my old pipe should be. Ah, you're drunk, you're drunk, you silly old fool, and still you cannot see. That's a lovely tin whistle that me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I've travelled a hundred mile or more, but tobacco in a tin whistle, sure, I never saw before. And as I went home on a Thursday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw two boots beneath the bed where my old boots should be. But I called me wife and I said to her, would you kindly tell to me who owns them boots beneath the bed where my old boots should be? Ah, you drunk, you drunk, you silly old fool, and still you cannot see. There are two lovely geranium plants that my mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I've travelled. A hundred miles or more, but laces in geranium plants sure I never saw before. But as I went home on a Friday night, as drunk as drunk could be, I saw a head upon the bed where my old head should be. 
Well, I called me wife and I said to her, would you kindly tell to me who owns that head upon the bed where my old head should be? Ah, you're drunk, you're drunk, you silly old fool, and still you cannot see. That's a baby boy that me mother sent to me. Well, it's many a day I've traveled a hundred miles or more, but a baby boy with his whiskers on sure I never saw before. Brilliant. Bravo, Dave, bravo. Um, and uh, as you were uh, recounting that tale, my friend from Romford Lee put uh, how many mosh pit accidents um, <laughs> in, into the chat. And I do believe he may be referring to a Sultans of Pin gig, Sultans of Ping gig that I oh, went to at the, uh, at the Yulu. Um, were they the Where's Me Jumper guys? They were the Where's Me Jumper oh, right, guys. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, um, oh, I was, a, yeah. I was, I was a big fan, and I was of the age, and uh, you know, it, we, uh, yeah, again, we jumped on the underground and um, uh, went to see them, and uh, that was when I was just starting to uh, indulge in the art of stage diving, and um, <laughs> I. <laughs> Um, I'd, I'd, I'd kind of um, christened my performances of stage diving at, uh, at a gig in, at a place called The Venue in New Cross to a band called Silverfish, who Ooh. were, yeah, they were pretty uh, lively. Um, and we went to this gig at the Yulu, and there was a, a support band that were on before, and I was there with my friends, and I'd had a couple of drinks, and I was like, right, I'm getting up on that stage and I'm going to stage dive off. And, you know, as ever, Lee was one of them. They were all around me going, yeah, go on then, mate. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I it's squeezed... It's nice to encourage you, isn't it? You know? <laughs> so I, I squeezed through the kind of crowd at the front, which was really tightly packed and there was a lot of kind of moshing going on and it was all quite lively. And I saw my opportunity and I clambered up onto the stage. And when I, I jumped up onto the front of it and I looked to see where my friends were, um, further back through the through the gig, and I waved, put my hand on, waved at them, and I didn't, I, and, and I just ran, and I just jumped, and just as I was about to hit all the hands, <laughs> my face smashed into the floor, oh, and oh. and and I looked around, and there were just a load of people stood around me that had all just stepped out the way, just looking <laughs> at me like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> And um, I kind of got up and tried to sort of uh, dinner kind of vibe. And um, and uh, by the time the Sultans of Ping came on, I was taken out of the gig with concussion. Um, <laughs> I was throwing up everywhere and I missed the whole gig. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds good. Oh, <laughs> I, I, because I'm a, a short person. And when I was uh, going to uh, gigs back then, Steve, people would routinely grab me and throw me up into the... Uh, into the onto the crowd so i'd have to do crowd surfing i, I didn't want to I, I just had to do it and that, and that happened on a regular uh, regular occasions and I, I once stage dived at boo radley's gig and there's only one line of people missed them all and uh landed on my head which was uh yeah yeah fun. yeah the lesson the lesson is always look to see where the knot of people are before you kind of do this dive thing don't I, I, I think I was trying to look good and do the swan dive you know dramatically and uh, yeah. yeah that was the end of me I'm not going to be taking any stage diving tips from you Steve okay. <laughs> so we're going to look forward to some uh, stage diving at our, our next actual pub performance then <laughs> we'll a, a circle <laughs> Luckily enough, we don't perform anywhere big enough to have a stage, really, do we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've got more people in our YouTube channel than we do normally at our gigs. <laughs> yeah. That's how we like it as well. <laughs> um, what else do I have here on the list of things to discuss? Um, Can I say that this is exactly how it is when we meet up normally? <laughs> <We've had> <laughs> We planned all our discussions in advance. <laughs> Steve mutes us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't like it. <laughs> Apparently, it's better when we're muted. <laughs> Which I don't I want to take that as a. Uh, it's not a compliment, is it, really? No, no, it's true, though, but it's not a compliment. But um, it's. 
Uh, so, Johnny, I've got health to the company down here on my list. Oh, uh, yeah. After the earlier talk by Chris, that's a good one. Actually, I'm thinking that. <laughs> yeah. Never drink a health, Johnny. Yeah. Um, but this is, um, I don't know much about this song, but I did look into it a bit earlier. Chris probably knows more than I do, being a historian. But I think it's. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't. Uh, this song came through um, Secret. No, uh, yeah, Secret Shore, didn't it? Oh, I think yeah. it, Emily taught the Secret Shore this side. So I'm not sure where she got it from, but it's a, it's a good one. It's an Irish folk song, but they also think it might be Scots-Irish. Mm. Like, it might have sort of travelled over that way. And then there's also talk of it being written by... Uh, I can't remember. But, yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's just a good song. <laughs> I'll try and remember it. It's lucky I had this before my second pint. Here we go. So we all got to mute then, shouldn't we? Oh, yes. Except me. Yes. Graham's good at muting everyone. All right. Here we go. Here's a health to the... I'm going to go a bit lower than that. <laughs> Here's a health to the company and one to my lass. Let us drink and be merry all out of one glass. Let us drink and be merry all grief to refrain. For we may or might never all meet here again. Here's a health to the dear lass that I love so well. For her style and her beauty, sure none can excel. There's a smile on her countenance as she sits on my knee. There's no man in this wide world who's as happy as me. Here's a health to the company and one to my lass. Let us drink and be merry all out of one glass. Let us drink and be merry all grief to refrain. For we may or might never all meet here again. Our ship lies at anchor, she is ready to dock. I wish her safe passage without any shock. And if ever I should meet you by land or by sea, I will always remember your kindness to me. Here's a health to the company and one to my lass. Let us drink and be merry all out of one glass. Let us drink and be merry all grief to refrain. For we may or might never all meet here again. Lovely. We bloody well will meet again. We will meet again. <laughs> bravo, Johnny, bravo. Not in a Vera Lynn sort of way, though. <sighs> no. Or a Queen sort of way. Not Queen of Man. Didn't the Queen say it the other day? Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We'll meet again. I, don't, uh, I have right, okay. Queen. I think say here's a health. I'm not sure she was talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> So we've got a couple of options here. We can um, we can move on to the Copper family. We could give a little bit of an explanation of who the Copper family are for those that don't know. Um, uh, we could talk a little bit about how kind of, I suppose, linked I feel like we are to the Copper family. We sing so many of their songs. Chris, you've got more personal links uh, to that family, I think, including Bob Copper being at your wedding, if I remember rightly. Those are the little stories that you drop in that I go wowzers <laughs> to. <laughs> Yeah, John, um, Bob and um, John Copper sang at our wedding. They sang the Sussex Wedding Song, which we then in turn sang at uh, Dave and Emma's wedding. Yes, you did, yeah. Um, so somewhere I've got a very old and probably badly bleached uh, VHS recording of, of Bob and John singing at the church. And uh, it's the thing that people who were at that wedding remember most because you don't expect it, do you? <laughs> Because uh, Bob was pretty old by then, eighty-five or something. So, um, yeah. So, pe people who don't know of them, they are a family that kept alive the Sussex singing tradition. Um, and the remarkable thing, I suppose, is that what one hundred and twenty years ago, 
most people were singing these songs. And then almost immediately the First World War was over, that singing tradition just stopped. Uh, so there's that, you know, they were just like the last family left who actually kept these songs going, which is, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and uh, Graham does a very good version of, uh, of a song to do with ale. Yeah, yeah, I can sing that now. That, would, that? that would be boots, G. Brilliant. I'd, I'd like everyone to be on mute if possible. Yes, all right. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's of good ale to you, I'll sing, and to good ale I'll always cling. I like my mug filled to the brim, and I'll drink all you'd like to bring. Oh, good ale, thou art my darling, thou art my joy, both night and morning. It is you that helps me with my work, and from a task I'll never shirk. While I can get a good home brew, and better than one pint, I like to. Oh, good ale, thou art my darling, thou art my joy, both night and morning. I love you in the early morn, I love you in daylight, dark or dawn. And when I'm weary, worn or spent, I'll turn the tap and ease the vent. Oh, good ale. Thou art my darling, thou art my joy, both night and morning. It is you that makes my friends my foes, it is you that makes me wear old clothes. But since you come so near my nose, that's up you comes and down you goes. Oh, good ale. Thou art my darling, thou art my joy, both night and morning. And if all my friends from Adam's race were here to meet me in this place, I would part from them all without one tear, before I'd part from my good beer. Oh, good ale, thou art my darling. Thou art my joy, both night and morning. And if my wife should me despise, how soon I'd start telling her lies. But if she loves me as I love thee, what a happy couple we should be. Oh, good ale, thou art my darling. Thou art my joy, both night and morning. You have caused me debts, and I've often swore I never would drink strong ale no more. But you, for all that I forgive, and I'll drink strong ale just as long as I live. Oh, good ale, thou art my darling. Thou art my joy, both night and morning. Uh, I would be drinking ale, but unfortunately my delivery of ale got broken in transit. Oh. So I have no ale. All I have is vodka. <laughs> I'm not, not sure the song would work quite as well with... Uh, Oh, good vodka, thou art my darling. <laughs> Unless I had a Russian accent. In Russian, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 You are my headache in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's normally quite clean, isn't it, uh, vodka? It's whiskey yeah. that gives you a, a proper headache. So. Mm. It's better than gut run in the morning from the air, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say hello to Chris and Paula, my friends Chris and Paula, who are um, my very good friends from um, back in Worcestershire when I was in, you know, I was in that group, Boy 7. The, the, yeah, yeah. yeah, beautiful little group that was. Such a lovely part of my life. And they're listening tonight. So hello. Hey. Paula. Hi, Chris. Hi, Paula. 
They're doing beautiful things. Chris normally, Chris is a very talented pianist. And um, he normally does um, sort of piano sessions uh, in Persian kind of concerts. But he's doing them all online at the moment. And he did a beautiful version of um, uh, John Cage's, um, what's it called, Four Minutes? 33. Four yeah, minutes yeah. Three. But he did a beautiful version just in the morning. So it's with sort of backing vocals by the Dawn Chorus, which is just, it's the best version of Four Minutes 33 I've ever heard. <laughs> is there a, can we get a recording of that? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I'm sure if I'm sure he'll put a little thing on there. But I think if you go on Stick Facebook, a link in the chat. Yeah, if you type in Chris Long into Facebook, it might come up. I I would think. I hope. I don't know, Chris. I don't know. Chris in the chat, put a link. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a guy I there's a guy I knew at university who has a shortcut for his one of his performances to say, oh, I'm going to perform 4 minutes 33, ha, ha, ha. Um, so he turned up, and so he was asked for the score for the person who was uh, marking him. He said, wait, wait a minute, there's no, I don't have a score. I can't perform it then. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he had to go and scrabble around and find a score. And... <laughs> Performing at 73, that, otherwise he couldn't perform it properly, which I loved. Because actually, I do wonder that when you perform it, do you, you, I wonder if you count like crazy and you count the bars. Now, if you're doing it properly, you must have to count the bars rather well, than just like looking at a watch and going, oh, that's four minutes 33. That's yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure well, Chris could tell us, Chris, in the chat. Tell us if there's a score. I've, I've <laughs> never never seen a score, whether it just says tacit for 4 minutes 33 and you use a stopwatch and that's that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there, there was a, an urban myth about it being performed by the Royal Scottish Philharmonic or whatever in the Usher Hall in Edinburgh, and uh, they did it in four movements. <laughs> uh, uh, so they, they broke it down. They, uh, this may or may not be true I don't know uh, so therefore a, a, a good story to tell they broke it down into four movements and, and timed it in between but uh, in between the third and fourth movement they retuned <laughs> 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 things, things like that uh, for, the, for the comedy of it so yeah that's right Brilliant. Um, yeah, well, that's that's it. Now Chris is getting hassled uh, to uh, <laughs> to put stuff up in the chat. Talking of chat, I can see that Ben is in. Ben Street is there. To, is it, hey, Ben, how are you doing? Um, I think there's quite a, a family gathering, actually. I think, <laughs> I think Annika's nice. there as well. And, yeah, everyone. I think well, if we're doing family shout-outs, then I'm going to say hello to my mummy. And uh, my uncle Jim, Andy, Georgie, and I think my cousin Lee uh, are watching in Northern Ireland tonight. So uh, Malcolm's on there too, who sung at the the last two sing arounds. So yeah, I'll Mal- say hello to all those people too. Doing a few shares. Hello, Ireland. <laughs> yeah, I, w- um, I wouldn't call Malcolm Ireland. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yes, I don't know. Yeah. He he got he got called Welsh in one of the chat comments the last no. time and he wasn't very happy. <laughs> I, I did correct that very quickly actually. Yeah, yeah he's <laughs> he's definitely right. from Spain or something like that. <laughs> so uh, Steve, what's on your schedule? You know, the next thing on my schedule is uh, Taxi Alley. Ooh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um so Excellent. Uh, yeah, this is um uh this is a song that we have uh, basically written to the uh, melody of "Bully in the Alley," which is uh, which is an old sea shanty um, that that really represents uh, some of the um, risks and uh, the, the potential pitfalls of, of drinking uh, in Littlehampton. Um, of which references. there are many. <laughs> of which there are very many. Yes. Um, so it, it kind of references some of the uh, local establishments, and um, to yet yeah, I've not been barred from any of them for singing it. So. Um, uh, and it needs to be said that this is the uh, the fastest taxi driver in the county. <laughs> the warp um, speed, warp speed from Littlehampton to Worthing, it's very impressive. The so best, the best taxi driver. He's a busy man. Yeah. He's a busy man. Um, he's very good. Yeah. 
and uh, yeah, and he's our favourite cab driver basically. Um, and and if ever we're out and about and um and, and we need somebody to come and pick us up, or if if we you know I've I've never failed to be amazed by how if I call Ali, he somehow manages to drop somebody off at my front door. I get in, and then wherever I'm going, I get out, and somebody else gets in. It's 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 I don't know how he sequences all that with these people just waiting to get in and out of of, of the cab as smoothly as he does. There's some cat action going on in uh, Graham's. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the song uh, about uh, Ali. Hi, Ali, thanks, thanks for all the cabs. I doubt you're watching, but um, you know, thanks anyway. Um, Mutation. There's a shit band in a white heart taxi alley. Oh, oh, taxi alley. Shit band in a white heart taxi alley. Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please. Taxi alley. Oh, oh, oh taxi alley. Take me home, please. Taxi alley. Ali, can you help me now? I can't get served in the George now, Ali. Oh, taxi Ali. Can't get served in the George now, Ali. Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please, taxi Ali. Oh, taxi Ali. Take me home, please, taxi Ali. Ali, can you help me now? There's a ghost hunt in the dolphin taxi alley. Whoa, Ooh. taxi alley. Ghost hunt in the dolphin taxi alley. Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please, taxi alley. Whoa, taxi alley. Take me home, please, taxi alley. Ali, can you help me now? They're fighting in the crown now, Taxi Alley, oh, 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 Taxi Alley. Fighting in the crown now, Taxi Alley, Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please, Taxi Alley, oh, oh, oh Taxi Alley. Take me home, please, Taxi Alley, Ali, can you help me now? I just walked in through the Coco door. Oh, 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 taxi alley. Someone stepped up and they broke my jaw. Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please, taxi alley. Oh, oh, oh taxi alley. Take me home, please, taxi alley. Ali, can you help me now? I'm feeling rather queasy, Ali. Oh, 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 taxi, Ali. Please wind down the window, Ali. Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please, taxi, Ali. Oh, oh, oh taxi, Ali. Take me home, please, taxi, Ali. Ali, can you help me now? Take me home, please, Taxi Alley. Oh, 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 Taxi Alley. Take me home, please, Taxi Alley. Ali, can you help me now? Love it. <laughs> Very good. I just discovered two things during that song. One, I've got the... um feed playing on my phone next to the thing so I can see we're a little bit behind and I, I saw Graham's cat on that but I didn't see it on the main feed it was really straight <laughs> there, there was no there was no cat Johnny there was no cat was there no cat <laughs> my head Ooh. <laughs> ghost cat the ghost cat <laughs> Did you also did you see Chris's comment that there are in fact two scores and it gives weight to your Legend about the three movements. Three yeah. movements, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. Um, so that's Taxi Alley. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like it might be time for you to grab a book, Chris. A book, yeah. Well, I've got read, a book. Something. read something. Because that's pretty much the end of my um, planned schedule. And, oh, you uh, can miss a Charlie Mops. Oh, I've got another, I've got a similar song. Uh, I, I, I could read a book as well. I've got George's Marvelous Medicine right here. <laughs> that 
That's very good. That's a different stream, Dave. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true traditional culture, that is. I can't beat that. I can't beat that. Um, um, yeah, so I'll tell you about this, this, this song. This, other, this new song, what, what I've learned, um, which is uh, called... Uh, uh, but you want me to read? I'll read something. For, I'll, tell you what I'll, I'll tell you what I'll read. Uh, going back to the 17th century... And all this not drinking health health. Yeah. Um, Chris, are you, are you yeah. reading from one of your books? I'm reading from one of my there notebooks. Uh, <laughs> right. One of my <laughs> notebooks that I notes I made years and years ago on drinking from yeah. an, ancient sources and the drinking clubs of the late 17th century. And these clubs, people joined, and you went in, and all you did was drink a health to the king. A health to the Duke of York, health to the Queen, health to every prince and princess, health to the under Duke, the over Duke, until you couldn't do it anymore and you fell over. <laughs> <laughs> and, and these clubs all had master of ceremonies and it was their job to keep the drinking going and it was their job to make stronger and stronger punch. And the <laughs> most famous of all was William Groves. And his society was called the Honourable Society of Non-Common Pleas. <laughs> don't know. What, what, don't is that, what, is, what does that even mean? I, I, think, I, think he's, I think he's taking the piss out of, uh, of the judiciary, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's where it comes from. But there, were, there was a little song about him, but I don't know the tune, but I'll just, there's just one verse that will get you the idea of him. Non-Common Groves. Grand master of the rolls, the prince of toppers and of many of merry souls, an utter enemy to sordid pelf and a friend to every mortal but himself. Give him a flowing bowl to take his swill. Hang care, twill kill a cat, cries honest Will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I love that idea of just, just doing help, like proposing toasts every five minutes. <laughs> just to drink more. Talking <laughs> of which, get, you just keep rolling, chaps. I need to propose a toast to the bathroom. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chris, Chris, you used, to sing, you, used to sing, you used to sing Charlie Mops, Chris. What? Can I can I do this other song instead? You won't be disappointed. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's in a similar vein. It's in I'm going to mute. Vein. I'm going to mute uh, Steve. Uh, oh yeah, mute us uh, all. Exactly. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's a Potter of Portero, and uh, Porter, I was looking up Porter today, because I wasn't really quite sure how Porter's different, well obviously I know it looks different, but what is it? And it's, uh, it's, it's brewed with much darker malt, but the reason it's called Porter is an obvious reason, it was first drunk by the water porters and the street porters of London. So the water porters were the people who unloaded stuff onto and off barges, and the street porters just took stuff around the streets, uh, carrying it around. And this was their favourite drink. Um, and this song, it, it, it's sort of a, it's got a nautical sense. It's a Potter of Portero, also called the Sailor's Return, and it is in the sort of Charlie Mopp's early musical vein. And um, I remembered it word perfect before I started cooking dinner. But while I was cooking dinner, I was drinking gin and tonic, so I'm not going to trust myself. Uh, you, weren't drinking, you weren't drinking porter then, no? I am now, though. Oh, good man. Is, <laughs> yeah, I even, like, this is uh, Bring Out the Imp, Old Dark Porter. There you are. Oh, oh, you I, you I, think we're drinking, I think we're drinking porter as well. Look at this. Hey, porter. And, uh, as you said, Bring Out the Imp, Steve arrived. Oh, well, there you are. <laughs> there you go. That's as close to the Beer timing the schedule as I've ever had. I'll give this a go. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have the words to hand just because of the gin, not because of the porter. <laughs> when to old England I came home. I think that's too high. I need Johnny always to tell me. When... When to old England I came home, fa la la la, fa la 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 lay. What joy to see the tankard foam, fa la la la, fa la 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 lay. When treading London's well-known ground, if ever I feel my spirits tire, 
I haul me sail and look around in search of Whitbread's best entire. I spy the name of Calvert, of Curtis Cox and Co. I give a cheer, I bawl for it, a pot of porter o. When to old England I came home, what joy to see the tankard foam with hearts so light and frolic high. I'll drink it off to liberty. Where wine or water can be found, fa la la la, fa la 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 la. I've travelled far this world around, fa la la la, fa la 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 la. I hopes again before I die of England's best I can but try. For many a league I'll go about in search of a draught of Gifford Stout. I spy the name of Truman, of Maddox, Mukes and Co. I give a ball and cheer for it, a pint of porter o. When to old England I came home, what joy to see the tankard foam, with hearts so light and frolic high. I'll drink it off to liberty. Yeah. Oh, that's a that was a bit high, wasn't it? That was the, the very highest of my range. Yeah, but you got you, you were right to change it, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd, have been, yeah. I'd have been in serious uh, testicular trouble if I'd stayed at the. <laughs> 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 That's too much detail. <laughs> this is this is what happens when you mix gin and porter. Now you know. You, you've mixed gin and porter, right? Okay, sweet. So um, you missed out on this, uh, Steve. Was you uh... toasting? Toasting? Oh yes, yeah. On your journey, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was Chris. I love that. That's that's go that's going in the set. That has to go yeah, in the set. Yeah. That's right. a great song. I can't wait to join in with it. No, no, it's, yeah. it's a good joining in one, I think, yeah. especially yeah. if you're drunk. One day we can do that. One for day. sure, for sure. So um, we're, it's about quarter past nine now. So we've been going for about an hour, which is sort of what we, we we'd scheduled. I mean, I don't know if anyone in chat has anything that they'd like to specifically request on the drinking song front, but um, yeah. it's probably a bit late to ask. Unfortunately, chat delayed isn't it so yeah, it is it's about a couple of minutes behind the time they request it <laughs> we've got right. the should request it at the beginning then right <laughs> no. um but uh you know i think uh that this, this seems a pretty nice place to wrap it up for our first sort of stream like this um yeah. i've enjoyed it it's been great it's actually felt like a night down a pub with you guys yeah. which has yeah, been yeah. great yeah yeah um so, um, yeah, I think we'll probably, we'll wrap it up there. If you guys can just stay on for a bit, don't all just disappear off and I'll just, I'll, I'll end the stream and... Um... But don't end it yet because it's still, uh, Chris is still singing, I think, on the stream. So they don't it's all right, the, the, the end of the stream will be as delayed as the singing is. Uh. <laughs> um, it's a bit so. like being in contact with Mars, isn't it, really? Yeah. <laughs> Space probe. Very much. <laughs> well, um, thank you, everyone, who's um, the, the only the only song that, that has come to my mind that I thought we've not no one sung tonight, and I can't because I don't know it. Is Fathom the Bowl? Uh, I'm, oh, I'm, happy, yeah. I'm happy to sing that. Yeah, go on, Graham. All right, so I'll, I, give, it, I'll as, give it a go. As a, as a sign off, Graham should sing Fathom the Bowl, and yeah, uh, especially now I've got a bowl-sized glass of gin. Hey. If, if I get it wrong, it doesn't matter. You're right, it doesn't. That's vodka for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, and it's one that I sing on a regular basis to my children in bed, which is good. Especially when they've drunk all that panch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's on social services on me, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well, uh, yeah, one of the downsides from our stream was that social services turned up at Graham's house. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Can you all mute yourself? I'm hearing no. feedback here. Yeah.
Come all me loyal heroes, give an ear to my song. I'll be singing the... Oh, I got it wrong. Praise, Praise of good whiskey, whiskey and, and rum. rum. There's a clear crystal fountain near England does flow. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. From France we do get brandy, from Jamaica comes rum. Sweet oranges and lemons from Portugal comes. But beer and strong cider are England's control. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. My wife, she do disturb me when I'm all at my ease. For she says as she likes and she does as she please. My wife, she is a devil as black as the crow. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. My father, he do... My father, he do lie in the depths of the sea. No headstone to mark him, what matters to he? I've lost it. There's oh, a clear crystal fountain near England as flow. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. I'll fathom the bowl. Bring me the punch ladle, I'll fathom the bowl. Hey. Hey. Bravo, G. Bravo. Yeah. There was a um, there was a, a a key change in the middle of that that was something that Westlife would have been proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You stand up next time, eh? That's the thing. That, yeah. That that was that was my internet. The key, oh, my key yeah. didn't change. Yeah. yeah, it changed the keys, did it? Sweet. It's the, um, it's the bit, the bit rate, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that. Um, Chris Long Music has said in the chat, "Let's have one from Johnny before you finish." Ooh. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, wrong. Stop it. I like it. Stop it. I like it. So I do um, let union be because it involves drinking a lot. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, it's a cracker. I would only need to meet myself. No. All right, come lads, let us be jolly. Drive away all melancholy for to grieve. It is a folly when we're met together. Let union be in all our hearts. Let all our hearts be joined as one. We'll end the day as we begun, we'll end it all in pleasure. Cease your quarrelling and fighting, evil speaking and backbiting. All these things take no delight in when we're met together. Let union be in all our hearts, let all our hearts be joined as one. We'll end the day as we begun, we'll end it all in pleasure. Eating and drinking, they're so charming. Smoking and piping, there's no harm in. All these things take great delight in when we're met together. Let union be in all our hearts. Let all our hearts be joined as one. We'll end the day as we begun. We'll end it all in pleasure. Grab the bottle as it passes. Do not fail to fill your glasses. Water drinkers are dull asses. 
when we're met together. Let union be in all our hearts. Let all our hearts be joined as one. We'll end the day as we begun, we'll end it all in pleasure. Let union be in all our hearts. Let all our hearts be joined as one. We'll end the day as we begun, we'll end it all in pleasure. Hey! Bravo, bravo. Yeah. That's a perfect pleasure indeed. Yeah. Uh, it's a great place to finish it. So thanks to everybody. We've managed to maintain about 25 to 30 people on the stream all night. We didn't lose anyone, which is a lot better than last time when we were just streaming a frozen screen. Um, so thanks for everyone that's watched. Um, just to mention again that the T-shirt that Johnny's wearing, um, please feel free to order one of those. All of the uh, proceeds of that go to Ollie's Future, which is an amazing charity that does loads of great work around suicide awareness and suicide prevention. They've got some online training at the moment that's blowing up. Like it's, you know, they do a load of great work. Um, and 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 if you could, please, if you're still there, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like it, share it. It really helps us get gigs in um, more interesting places than some of the pubs that we've sung about tonight. Not that I'm moaning about them. They're all wonderful places. <laughs> Graham, yeah. how do people go about buying and procuring their own version of that T-shirt? I've put the link in the chat. Awesome. Is it also on the Duck Pond Sailors Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Grindr? As, as I am not a, uh, I don't use, yeah, it can be, obviously. I can sort that. Yeah. I can sort that. I, uh, yeah, uh, I can sort the grinder for sure. Um, <laughs> <but I'll... laughs> So, um, yeah, so thanks to everybody that's kind of tuned in this evening. We're hoping to do one next week. 